Yeah. Told me, you can't do this, you need to go over to Westminster. I said, I want to talk about this. She pulled into Chipotle and uh, she started arguing that uh, you can't solicit, uh, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, do you know ACLU? And like, are you going to argue me over this? And she uh, said, I have the right to uh, get any person's name and identification uh, as long as, uh, and then I was like clarifying with her, as long as there's reasonable suspicion. That's why I was trying to argue. There's no reasonable suspicion there. Did she get your ID? Yeah, she uh, wouldn't let me go unless I told her and spelled out my name. I didn't actually get my ID this time until I spelled out my name and gave me my birthday. So I got falsely in prison again, dude. She won't go over the Hey, you want to go over there and do it this time? I'll search the spot, man. She'll totally walk with you. Hey, she's in the parking lot, too. Yep. Do it, man. I'll do it, believe me. Excuse me. I was just wondering what particular statute that was that you had uh, uh, stole, uh, taught my brother on. Do you know which statute? The uh, Federal Heights? Was, uh, the solicitation statute to, uh, that you moved along my brother for. Do you know which statute that is? Okay, so with private property. That's not what we got from him. So, our, okay. Then, then actually... Private property requires uh, a warning. Well, keep in mind that I need to be actually told by the private property owner to not be here. So it's on a warning basis. So you need to get them first. 